Well, good morning. Welcome back. We got a uh, big tournament today, fishing for uh, 100 grand, three day event. Um, sitting here in line right now, waiting to get my boat checked in. You guys can see all the vehicles. So we're just here at BMW. Um, you know, we had two days of practice. You know, I didn't film those two, day, two days of practice because I wasn't really trying to set the hook on a lot of fish. I really wanted just to shake a few fish off. And um, so I didn't know if it would have been good, you know, content or whatnot. I would have been like, oh, there's a bite. And then, you know, let it, you know, let it swim off and, uh, you know, let it spit it. So, <clears throat> but, you know, I, I am boat number five this morning. So I have a pretty good chance of getting to wherever I want to go first. I'm just kind of torn on a couple spots. So uh, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go quite yet. You know, I guess I'll find out when I'm driving there and be like, all right, here we go. I'm gonna pull in here. So yeah, I'm, I, don't, I mean, we'll see. I mean, like I said, I had a handful of bites. Didn't really catch, I didn't catch any big ones in practice. So it is, I think there is gonna be someone that's gonna catch 30 pounds. Um, I think it's gonna take 20 pounds a day to win, you know, but I just, man, that's so hard to do here on the, on the, uh, on the Delta. Morning. Morning. If you follow this, basically this line. Yeah. The line's gonna take you to the weighing trailer, go into the weighing trailer, they're gonna do your boat check, they're also gonna get your mesh back. Okay, sounds so good. Thank option. you, appreciate it. Just trying to get all checked in, good to go, so I can go launch my boat. So, regardless, I'm excited. It's the Delta. I'm like 45 minutes from this place, about an hour. Um, I mean, uh, this place is my pretty much my home body of water for the most part. You know, that's where I have probably, probably to be honest, probably the most experience. Um, you know, you think Folsom would be my my home body body of water, but you know, Folsom, I don't like to fish Folsom for the most part. So, um, and the Delta is just crazy. You know, you can just get lost out here. Um, and you could be you can hide from people too like you don't people aren't gonna really see you where you're fishing for the most part so um i don't know like i said i'm excited to get out here uh, i'm gonna make we're actually doing at two o'clock so i gotta try to make as many casts as i can before that two o'clock mark um it's pretty short it's almost i feel like I'm, i can't fish everything i want to fish which is all right you know it's a three-day event i don't want to be able to fish everything that i can't you know everything that i you know want to fish in one day because I need to save some of those fish for, you know, day two and day, you know, hopefully day three. So, um, regardless, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's put this boat on the water, get checked in and, and, uh, you know, wait for blast off. So see you guys out there and wish me luck. For five, we got Austin Wilson from Citrus Heights. Yeah. And if you have any questions, man, just feel free. You know. Oh, there's one. but oh yeah 13 for one submit catch yeah and the submit catch or yeah submit to leaderboard oh, not the right one but hey it's a fish
And I didn't, I mean, both days of practice, I never, there's one. Two, not big, that's all right. That's all it'll do, mm. and then it'll just go back. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Man, yeah, that is what it is. I'm not too worried about it, man, to be totally honest. And so, if you want me to try it from your I got one, hold on. Little males, man. There's that thing weighs. Probably not even a pound. Shoot, they need to get a lot bigger. Number five. He is short and stocky. I'll put this one on this side for now. That fish was way up there. Maybe I've been throwing too. Sh I mean, it's not big, but what to do? What to do? Uh, another decision as a fisherman. What do you make? You make decision like. You keep you waiting here until the tide gets a little bit higher, or you run south of here where that tide's already high, and the fish might be biting. But I, when I was down there, I didn't get very many bites. So, what do you do? It's one of those decisions that I need to make. I know there's big ones in here, but so far they have not wanted to play at all today. Yeah, Maybe if I go back and I can fish hard down there and then I'm closer, I'm already past the five. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head back, get through that five, run back there. I mean, there's still a handful of spots I wanna fish in this area, but with it being this shitty, really worth it.
see if they're here. It looked like a three pound freaking ball, wasn't it? Jeez. Right on. That was sitting sweet. Just what we needed. Get a couple more like that and be a little bit happier. <laughs> Gotta get rid. Yeah, that one helped quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just glad you're hanging out. Right now. Give him yeah, it's so weird how certain sections of Julie's are just. Yes, it will. He's pissing too. So mad at myself. Should have just started here this morning. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Whack that turtle. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Past one, we're good. We don't have to do it. We don't have to do turning uh, accidents after one. When I hit him, that fish was already out. I saw him after I hit him, he flashed way out here. <laughs> Open water, yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, today was a was a little bit of a grind. Um, happy with what I got. You know, game plan for tomorrow will be uh, totally different. So, but I'll talk to you guys after that, after we actually officially weigh in. So, um, see you guys at the convention center.
We're good to go. Sweet. Good to go. Nice job, Thank nice you. job. So, talk to me. Tell me how you did today. How um, did you did? Man, it was a little tough. Um, I thought I was going to smash him today. I thought I was going to have like 20 to 25 pounds. And, um, you got 13, right? Yeah, almost, almost 14. Right you know, I had probably two days of practice, probably had 50 bites. Pretty close to 50 bites. I shook most of my fish off. Uh, saw a bunch of good ones, and I had a bunch of good ones. I didn't sore lip any of those fish. Just, I think my tide was a little off. My timing was a little off, but tomorrow's a new day. I think I can smash them tomorrow. You know, when you say your timing was off, you talk about that tide, when you hit that spot, your your sweet juice, you got there just a little early or a little late, right off that timing. Yeah. The timing's gotta be right to get those big mama bass. Right, yeah, <laughs> the heck of big bass. The heck of big bass. <laughs> good old big or a big old good one? Yeah, big old good one. <laughs> big old good one right there. So. Oh, so you got an idea what you're gonna do uh -huh. tomorrow and you know what your, what your plans are. Yeah, I got a pretty good game plan for tomorrow. Um, I just gotta execute and capitalize on every bite that I get. The area you're in, they got big fish? Of course, it's Delta. They're all everywhere. Yeah, everywhere's got big fish. Yeah. And the area where you got, it's got big fish. Yep, too. yep. So, what, you know, uh, you're, not, you're making any alter, are you going to change anything? No, I think I'm doing the right thing. I just, the, my timing with the tide was a little off today. Um, but I'm just, I'm just slowing down and just picking stuff apart, and I just need to get those right bites. Anybody you want to thank? Yeah, uh, all my friends and family that are watching, my wife, I know she drove out here. Um, all, everyone over at Fisherman's Warehouse, I know Tim Hall and, and Alan Fong covered for me while I'm out here practicing and fishing today. Um, I know Fisherman's Warehouse has a booth here, so make sure you guys stop by and hang out with those guys. Um, all my sponsors, P-Line, uh, First Gen Fishing, RB Bass, uh, all my other sponsors, and uh, I don't know, I gotta capture tomorrow, so. There you go, there's Wayne right there. Yeah, there's Wayne. He just turned your back on you, man. <laughs> Wayne just turned your back on you. Oh, right on. Well, you know what, Austin? Great job. Thank you. Uh, you're gonna whack on tomorrow. I sure me. hope so. I got I got money on you. I put uh, money on you this week. <laughs> well, let's hopefully get, make you some money. <laughs> I hope you make some money, my friend. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. <sighs> well, day number two. I uh, just got checked in for uh, to launch the boat. Got the live wells checked and everything else. Um, not too sure how today's gonna play out. You know, yesterday was a little bit a little bit tougher. Um, than I thought it was going to be. To be honest, I thought I was going to catch them pretty good. I know yesterday I kind of, I felt like kind of left you hanging, you, know, you guys hanging a little bit um, after the, the term was over to kind of give you guys how I did, you know? I mean, just shy of 14 pounds is not, not good. You know, it's not good. So um, I, I need to catch like 20 to 25 pounds a day to even have a shot, um, you know, for today. So but I have a lot of water I want to check out. So, um, you know, anything, anything can happen today. Um, but I need to fish clean. I need to fish thoroughly and every bite that I get, I need to get in the boat. I missed a handful of fish yesterday. Not saying, I don't think they would have helped me, but, um, I think, uh, today, I think that tide really kind of, you know, was messing, messing with my mind a little bit. Cause I think I thought my fishing was going to be better uh yesterday but it wasn't um it was just kind of brutal i thought i thought with the weather warming up these fish are going to pull to the bank and i thought i was going to catch them but um today we have a longer day yeah i have i'm doing it 2 45 um and then i gotta drive down to the convention center like i did last time so we have a we have a little bit longer day a little bit longer time to fish um that tide's going to come in a little bit more the tide's going to be higher i think the fishing will be a little bit better hopefully i don't know how this morning's going to go i feel like this morning might be kind of slow um i think later in the day might be a little better i'm not going to say it's going to be lights out or anything but i think uh later in the day i'll be able to pick up a few more fish so regardless we got to grind it out and hopefully uh catch a big bag today so uh stay tuned and hopefully we get a giant bag so uh wish us luck all right there's some teeth look at that all right boat number five mr austin wilson Dumb worm around again. 
thing I would have learned from yesterday. <laughs> Different spot though. Yeah, see a boat pulled up there. All right. Number one, not big, but sweet. Not big. I think a little bit better than the first fish yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and how he ran to the bow, I thought it was gonna be a big one. Might not be any room up there. Seems like there's a boat every 150 yards. But we'll give it a look. Come here, bud. Got her. Got her. Got her. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's too skinny. Just say uh, five and a half, I guess. Yes. Choked it too. Just what I was saying. They, don't eat, they haven't really eaten that reaction. Freaking choked it. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
There's one. Number four. Heck yeah. One more. One more. Pound and a half, I guess. I guess. Dang, that took a long time to get five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank God. Weighing in five, at least. Is it enough for a check? No. <laughs> if I get another one like that big one, possibly. Last minute. I just wish I had more punch water in this river. I feel like there's not really a whole lot. Oh, that's shallow there. All right, let's go check out those islands. The islands. I'm wondering how I'm wondering how many times this been fished today. Forty? What's that? <laughs> I said, I'm wondering how many times this has been fished today by all the guys. Forty? <laughs> What's up, dude? You eating crawdads or what? It's not big. I'm not worried about the thing. Definitely help. Well, that was worth it. I didn't think how, how I felt about that with that otter right there that helps and go out out to the right there's a lot of stuff there that look good
that'll help. You saw the boil? Just in time. No. <laughs> Well, on our way back to the convention center, um, did a little bit better today. Not as good as I was expecting. Sorry for the lack of commentary today. No midday updates. Um, just talking to my marshal all day. We had, we had a good time. You know, Joe, we, uh, I don't know, I don't remember his last name, but Joe, you know, he was a good good dude. We talked back and forth and, you know, I try to, try to help him out. If he had any questions, answer his questions and um, try to help him. You know, he's sitting in the boat all day, not fishing, so. That's a grind. I mean, that's I would be like taking a nap or watching YouTube, man. Especially with how I fish, it's super slow. But um, it was good to. I mean, I've met I've met Joe before at, at Fisherman's Warehouse, and it was good to have him on the boat today. But um, I'm headed over to the convention center, so don't want to say too much. Um, but yeah, we'll get over there and we'll see the final final results, and I'll talk to you guys shortly. today than you did yesterday yeah a little bit a little bit nice nice so what'd you do i went fishing i ran into a different area uh tie i was waiting on that tide that tide needed to be up and uh, for those fish to move up to the bank and i think a lot of these fish are spawning right now and so with that low tide those fish don't feel comfortable they have to wait for that tide to come up for them to start chewing yeah, you know, they, they, they got about X amount of water movement, and when they get up that shallow water, they're always kind of frightened because they think birds, movement, anything like that, because a fish has a pea brain, so when they're this big, they worry about everything. When they're this big, they think they're this big. Yeah, we'll have to watch out for sea lions. Yes, everybody's been talking <laughs> about it. There's a lot yeah. of videos. One guy brought a fish that the big old chunk from a sea lion. Really? Big fang. You know, yeah, I, I saw him eat, him eat a bunch of bass today, so. So how many fish you catch today? Um, I didn't catch very many. I, caught, I think I caught seven or eight today. Um, it was a grind. I caught some fish pretty quick. Caught my big one pretty pretty quick. Uh, when that there was a little bit of wind today, and I was like, this looks really good for for a chatter a chatter bait moving bait. And I fired it out there in one of a, a pocket that I really like. We call it Kevo's Cove. He caught a, my my buddy uh, his dad caught a nine pounder in there a long time ago. And so he got a name. He got, he got a yeah. It has a name, so we call it Kevo's Cove. I pulled in there and I threw that chatter bait off on some grass and uh, caught that 623 or whatever it was. Nice, mm -hmm. nice, nice. Did you lose any big fish? No, I didn't lose any, any big fish, didn't snap any fish off. Fish really clean today. Good, 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 good. Well, you know what, always, anybody you wanna thank? Yeah, all my friends and family that are watching, my wife, I know she's here, I love you, babe. Um, everyone over at Fisherman's Warehouse, you know, Tim Hall and Alan Fong, you know, covered for me while I was out fishing today. So I appreciate those guys. Um, Fisherman's Warehouse also has a booth here, so make sure you guys go check out their booth and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm probably working tomorrow. So if you guys want to come talk fishing, come over and and uh, to come talk to me. I also have to take one more person, uh, Doug Arlen. I borrowed a boat this week. I uh, had a little bit of problems with mine. I had a fuel problem. Just ran out. It was just running out of gas. I had a little air leak in it. So borrowed a boat. Uh, huge shout out to Doug for letting me borrow borrow his boat. Thank you, Doug. I really appreciate it. Well, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you, Austin. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Wish you all the best. Hope Thank to you. see you next year. Huh? Pretty good. You got it. Give a round of applause if you want to play. Austin Wilson. Good morning. Uh, it's been a few days since the tournament. I am on my way to work right now. Uh, what a rough tournament. Uh, man, I thought I was going to catch them a lot better than I did. You know, I thought, you know, that I was going to have at least... I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna have, but I thought I was gonna have a lot better than like 14 pounds day one and 16 pounds day two. Man, just the fishing was a little rough down there. I thought with this, you know, the warming weather, those fish were gonna pull up. You know, the Delta's been fishing weird like all year. I thought that with this warmer weather, it would be, you know, really good, uh, but it wasn't. So uh, I know. I think what these fish were doing were spawning. You know, we had all this cold rain and cold, you know, weather. And I think that as soon as you know, the, the days are getting longer and 
you know, the fish were just like, well, all this cold weather, what's going on? Like it's time to spawn, but the water temp wasn't quite right. Um, and I think with these warming days, they, they just were like, all right, it's time, we gotta go. And I think a lot of these fish went to the bank and started spawning. Um, all the areas I, were fi I was fishing was pretty dirty. Um, and so you couldn't, I couldn't really see them. Um, that's why I was throwing that worm around. I think a worm is like the best bait to throw around when you know we have spawning fish you know they're not really going to chase something down you know they're going they're not going to chase down a chatterbait or a swim jig or you know or anything like that i mean i definitely you definitely have waves of fish you know that that spawn but i don't know i couldn't get around any fish that were in pre-spawn i felt like and most of my fish were already i felt like already spawning um but you know i, I don't know what i would have done different you know i, I feel like i fished everything I wanted to fish and you know it just you know just didn't line up it just wasn't my time you know so um glad the tournament is over with I'm not gonna lie finally finally over with now I can just go I can go fun fishing you know I can go sh I can go striper fishing you know shad are about to be here I already heard they're catching some shad so I'm super excited about about that um and then you know just going fun fishing on different you know different bodies of water and just you know just going having fun and filming videos for you guys you know i'm kind of taking a step back for the most part for from tournaments i'm um, still going to be trying to fish a lot i'm going to try to fish as much as i can um but you know I, and my next tournament's not uh not for a while it's going to be august uh first weekend second weekend of august snack proof uh, i'm looking forward to snack proof but you know i mean i'm not like saying i'm done completely from tournaments but i'm just saying that I just want to go fun fishing you know there's uh, there's always a lot of money on the line and and uh and you know i'm just kind of you know just tired of coming out of pocket for um you know just coming out of pocket for paying for these these tournaments and then if i don't get a check i'm hurting so um i'm just gonna go fun fishing and not have to worry about entry fees and you know i just want to go fun fun fish and try to catch the you know biggest fish possible or the most fish possible it all uh depends on the body of water that i'm fishing so um but yeah um i know a lot of you guys are you know some of you guys you know come to me and or have come to me and you know said hey i heard you're you're not gonna be fishing tournaments anymore and it's not the case i am gonna be fishing some tournaments just kind of just want to have fun you know and it's kind of lately the last you know year and a half it hasn't really been fun um for me so i just want to get back to kind of my roots and just learning some new bodies of water and just trying to catch a few fish so um i i don't know man so i, I appreciate you know everyone that's supported me over the years you know all you guys following along you know i know my channel is not the biggest um you know i i uh you know maybe one day it will but as of right now i just you know i appreciate all you guys support all you guys that have subscribed and, and watched the channel um i really do you know so but yeah i don't know what i'm doing next I'm hopefully going striper fishing i really want to go striper fishing um i want to go catch some stripers make some fish tacos you know so uh, other than that you know my boat i know you're some of you guys are like oh what happened to your boat didn't you why didn't you run it um i know if you guys heard in the video on day two that my uh my fuel line had a little it has a little air leak and i'll be just running down the down the i guess river or lake and all of a sudden like you'll just die um and then i have to go back there on the primer bulb and you know pump it up and and get fuel back in the system and then it's good to go so i need to pull off the wrap i need to fix the air leak and then um probably gonna post it probably gonna post it for sale um you know i want a different boat you know i want a boat i can do more in so which i already have the boat lined up i just need to sell my boat to get that boat so uh, it's a great boat i've had it my pretty much my my entire fishing career um but anyway i will post it as soon as i pull the wrap off hopefully maybe here in a week or two um like i said i got wet i have a i have a wedding this weekend so i'm not gonna be able to pull it off this weekend hopefully i'll have a video guys for you for you guys next week um you know i got i'm the best man in the wedding so most likely i'm not going to get out this weekend and, and film a video so you might have a might have a week without without a video so i apologize for that but um man looking forward to you know just going fun fishing so hopefully you guys like the channel 
Um, I'm on my way to work, like I said earlier, and I've got to wrap this thing up. So, you know, I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, hopefully, you guys liked the video, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you guys next time.